Hey, what's happening guys? So Loic Bade is officially signed for Nottingham Forest on a season-long loan from Wren. This one's gone under the radar a little bit because of the plethora of incomings that have come before him, but make no mistake about it. This kid's a heck of a talent and I fully expect Forrest to take up the option to make this move permanent come next summer. The likes of Southampton, Leicester, Liverpool and Leeds were all vying for his signature and each of those four clubs have showcased that they have an eye for young talent over these last few seasons. So expect to see plenty of quality moving forward. By the way, if you're one of those miserable Muppets moaning about Forrest making over 20 signings, do some actual research into how many players they've lost from last season, and you'll see this has been both necessary and ambitious in equal measure. The alternative was just to make up the numbers and finish on 11 points like Derby County, which, let's be real, nobody fucking wants to see, do they? In terms of his background, Bade came through the famed Le Havre Academy, which has produced players such as Riyad Mahrez, Dimitri Payet, Lasana Diera, and Paul Pogba in the not-too-distant past. After spending a couple of years playing for their reserves, alongside making a handful of appearances for their first team, Bade was snapped up by Lons in Ligue 1, where he became a permanent fixture in the 11 right from the get-go and helped them secure a 7th place finish in the league table. Based on his incredible performances for someone so young, Ren decided to fork out 17 million quid to bring him in this time last year. While injuries restricted Bade to a mere 21 appearances across all competitions during the course of the campaign, his reputation remains sky high in his homeland and Forest supporters have every right to be excited about what he could go on to become. Moving on to his style of play, Bade is an incredibly adaptable centre-half who is equally as adept at playing in a back four as he is in a three. As showcased by the graphic on screen, his ability and possession is second to none in the former, often being responsible for ensuring the ball isn't lost in dangerous areas of the pitch and building out attacks from the back, which is particularly impressive as it played a key role in Rennes scoring 82 league goals last season, which was only second to PSG who bagged 90 and 16 more than the third best team in Lyon who had 66 to their name. That being said, what made Bade stand out to Cooper will no doubt have been his defensive numbers in the aforementioned back three, which is the formation he's likely to feature in at Forest in the short term. The pie chart clearly illustrates that stepping out from the back line, challenging the opposition, and winning aerial duels were all areas of his game that stood out for a side which had their backs against the wall for the majority of their matches. So whether it's featuring for a Forest side who are a work in progress right now, or one that goes on to play more expansive football after adapting to the rigors of the Premier League in the near future, Bade will be able to slot right in either way. At 6 foot 3, this kid's been a giant both literally and figuratively speaking, as he covered a staggering amount of area within the width of the penalty box and all the way up to the halfway line during his time in France. His anticipation, positional sense and strength are well beyond his ears and precisely why forwards tend to build their attacks on the opposite flank to where he's playing. His physicality and aggressiveness undoubtedly make him an intimidating presence but have also resulted in a staggering 14 yellow and 3 red cards across a mere 52 appearances which is something you'll have to be acutely aware of as English referees are becoming more and more card-happy twats every year. Overall, this is a fantastic signing which isn't quite getting the credit it deserves in the public domain. The fella has three France under 21 caps to his name and it won't be long before he makes the step up to the senior squad if he continues progressing in the manner which he has done thus far. His former teammate Ignatius Ganogo even stated, I promise you, you'll see Bade playing for a top top side soon enough. And while Forrest aren't quite in that category yet, they could very well be in due course. Cheers for tuning in as always, folks. A massive shout out to FDR Pretzi yet again for his double contribution, as well as Cornelius Smith, Andy the Antifash, love that name by the way, Jacob Austin, CCR, JP, Luke Farron, Josh Scarborough, Clive McIntyre, Joel Cross, and David Beebe for helping out my channel big time. Much love to each and every one of you. Honestly, the best part about making this content has been interacting with you lot, and I look forward to a lot more of that in the future. On a side note, now that the window is shut, please do let me know what sort of content you'd like me to be making down below. I've got a couple of ideas in mind, but I'm all ears to suggestions and will act accordingly. Cheers and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.